a very common question I get asked is, how do I make an anonymous proxy? How do I surf the internet without people knowing what my IP address is or how to track me? Now, there are countless ways to anonymize yourself, but by far the most cost effective and easiest to configure, in my opinion, is Tor. Now, Tor in itself is not an HTTP proxy. Tor is a SOX proxy. However, you can utilize it as an HTTP proxy. <laughs> yeah, boy. You can utilize it as an HTTP proxy by simply forwarding the traffic to the SOX proxy from an HTTP proxy. The HTTP proxy that we're going to use is called Provoxy. Essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to have the browser. We're going to forward the traffic to the store SOX proxy. The SOX proxy is going to forward the traffic over action. So we're going to have the browser. Browser forwards the traffic to the HTTP proxy. HTTP proxy forwards the traffic to the SOX proxy. So let's get into it. All right. So on the left, we're SSH into the Raspberry Pi that we're going to be utilizing. Um, let's go ahead and uh, verify that I don't have Provoxy's Tor or Nix already installed for this demo by using service status all. It shows all the services currently running on the computer. I don't see Tor, Nix, or Provoxy, which means we're good to go. And on the right here, I have Brave Browser. It's a browser that we're going to be using to send traffic through the proxy. And one good way to check if, if Tor is already being used is to simply go to the Tor Check website, which is check.torproject.org. It says here, you are not using Tor. Your IP address appears to be. All right. Which is what's expected because we're not we're not actually using the network as of yet. So let's go back over to this Raspberry Pi here. Let's install Tor. So we're going to do apt get install Tor. We're also going to need Provoxy. And we're going to need the Tor controller or monitor, which is Nix, Tor arm. And the Y flag to say yes to all. Now, depending on which Raspberry Pi you're using, it's going to take some time to install. We're going to go ahead and use some video magic and fast forward. All right. So let's again take a look at our services. So it looks like Provoxy is running. It looks like Tor is running. Let's go ahead and stop those service. Because we have to update the configuration files so they're operating the way that we need them to. All right, let's double check the services. They should be stopped. All right, Provoxy is stopped and Tor is also stopped. Now we need to update the configuration files. Uh, we'll start with Provoxy. So we'll use Nano to modify the file. There's a few things you do have to update in order for it to work and we'll go through them here. So one thing I do do, one thing I do do <laughs> is disable the actions filters. If you want to log, if you want to log, you could actually enable these here. But for this demo, we're not going to log anything. Next thing we have to do is specify the listening address and port. So listen address is here port 8118, which is something we're going to have to memorize. Well, take note of because we're needed in a moment. Listen address updated. And then we also have to permit traffic on the LAN. 
right here permit deny access permit access And then we have to forward the traffic from this HTTP configuration or proxy server um, to the Tor SOX proxy. Now it may work with the local IP address. Uh, it may have been changed recently or maybe it's worked all the time, um, but I always do put in the actual IP address versus the local IP address without problems. So we're gonna go ahead and update this to 192.168.1.250. All right. Okay, and I think that's everything. Okay, so we're gonna start the proxy service. And if there's any issues, it will tell us here. Now we got to update the port configuration. So we're enabling the port. We're enabling local traffic, land traffic. We have to enable the control port for Nix, along with cookie authentication. We also want to make sure to specify we don't want this relay to be used as an exit relay. I think that's... Mm, actually... I think we have to update this. Service tour start. And then we should be able to use Nix to see if the tour has, if tour has established a connection, if it's bootstrapped. Let's see here. I really like using a Raspberry Pi for this simply because an SD card is easy to destroy. Just kidding. No, because um, you don't really need a powerful PC to be able to relay traffic. So here we see it's that it's 100% done. All right. So what we need to do now is configure the browser to point to the HTTP proxy, HTTPS proxy, Proxy. So we go to our proxy settings for Brave or the net, the computer itself. I'm gonna go to manual. Got the Proxy IP address, port, Proxy IP address, and port for both HTTP and HTTPS. And we should be able to refresh this page. And we are now using Tor. Uh, let's see here. That's how you know Tor is working. <laughs> and that's about it. Thank you for watching.